So before we go ahead and add in the YouTube processing logic, let's go out and write the code that will handle adding a playlist item to our playlist. So let's jump down into source client. Let's start off with our store. So let's jump into, um, into playlist.js. And for this, the first thing we're gonna do is on our events, we're gonna add a new stream to be merged in. We're gonna say server on money, playlist added, map, op add. And then we're gonna scroll down. After op list, we'll do function op add. And op add is gonna take in a source and an after ID, if you recall from the last video. So we're just gonna use the object deconstructing syntax to grab those two properties out of the event. So let's return our function that will mutate the state. And I'll say let insert index equals zero, and then also add after equals null. Then I'll say if add after does not equal null, or sorry, does not equal equal negative one, because negative one is the ID that we're gonna use to denote that it's supposed to go at the beginning of the list. I'm gonna say add after equals state dot map after ID, and I'll say if not add after, then return, and this is gonna be, there's, there's a couple ways we can go about handling error conditioning, uh, error conditions within our state transformations. One way that we can go about doing it is adding a special, um, a special function which is going to return an error into the stream. So I can say uh, return op error, passing in our state, and then passing in a message. In this case, it will be could not add source, source.title after, after ID as after ID was not found. So we can return this op error, and we'll implement that after we finish our op add method. And what we could do is, is we can listen to error events that happen within our stream and do something like maybe refresh the playlist. So what's cool here is we're running, like I said, we're running into a problem. Um, the after ID was not found in our current playlist. And what that could mean is that we're out of sync with the server. So maybe we might want to add in code that listens for errors in our operations and says, in our playlist and says, oh, well, this error happened, so that must mean we're out of sync. Go ahead and ask the server for a new list or a refresh or whatever, or do whatever other logic you might want to do. But, um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to say const after index is state dot list dot index of add after and then say insert index equals after index plus one so all we're doing here is we're saying okay get the add after the item the index id the, the the where he is in the list and then set the insert index to that plus one now we can do our actual add we can say state list splice and we're going to splice in at insert index remove zero and then do source and then we can return a event with type of add source of source add after add after of add after and state is state so we go ahead and say this thing was added it was added after this thing and here's the state so let's go ahead and do our op error real fast our op error is going to be really simple so function op error is going to take in a state and an error message we're going to console error out the error message so we can see it as a developer and then we're going to return and now this is going to be fun um this may or may not work but we'll see type is error error is error and state is state let's go ahead and see if this complains and it doesn't okay previously when i wrote this code um a while ago i got this error from es lint saying that there was a type mismatch and that looks like it's been resolved with the later version of Visual Studio Code, so we don't have to do anything special. The point is, is that this is our state code. So go ahead and make sure you have op add and op error. But what we can do now is on our components playlist list component is we can now listen to this event. So let's scroll down and let's add some code for that. Let's say this playlist state filter a goes into a type equals equals add. Uh, comp subscribe this followed by getting our, what we want um, out of this, let's see, 
we want to extract a couple bits of data here. We want the source and the add after. We don't want the entire state because we're not going to recreate the entire list. Instead, we're just going to intelligently insert the element for you know obvious performance reasons. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the comp, const comp equals new playlist item component source. And then I'm going to add it to our items map. So add in um, source.id equals comp. And then I'm going to say this underscore add item at comp and then add after comp, which will actually be what we're going to do is we're going to try to, if the add after was set, then we're going to pass in the component that we're supposed to add after. Otherwise, we're going to pass in null. So I'm going to say if add after question mark items map add after dot ID, otherwise null. So the add method, add item method is going to take in two parameters. The first thing is the comp to add, and the second thing is the comp to add after, or the, the comp that we're going to be inserting our, our new component in. So let's go ahead and create add item. This is going to take it a comp and an add after comp. I'm going to say if, well, let's see here. Actually, we do want to go ahead and attach the component to our items as well so that the component gets uh, created and um, mounted properly to the mount and everything that's set. So up here, after we create the comp, immediately after creating the component, I'm going to say comp attach, and I'm going to pass in list. All right, so I'll just add it to that list. And then down here in add item, I'm going to say if add after comp, then add after comp dot money element dot after comp element. So we'll just shift it in the DOM to where uh, the it'll be added after. So the after method in jQuery will add whatever element we add in here after that element that we were currently selecting on. Otherwise, what we want to do is say this element prepend comp dot element. So there we go. So otherwise, we add to the beginning of the list. And that should work for now. Let's go ahead and try this out. Let's come back here and let's uh, refresh. I probably actually didn't need to refresh. And then add in a uh, user and then go ahead and add a video. Hit OK and check that out. A new video was added. It looks like one new video was added, then we got an error. So let's go ahead and see um, what happened here. So we the first time we added it, it worked. Oh, actually, I think it worked each time, but we got the error. Cannot add source, bleh after negative one as negative one was not found. So we have a problem there with our with our um, playlist store. Let's come back to, down here. If add after, oh, if after ID does not equal equal negative one, that's what we wanted to do. Sorry about that. Now let's come back here and refresh. We have to refresh because we modified the, the store, which can't be live reloaded. And let's reload and do that and check that out. As you can see, the item is being added. Of course, it's a it's a it's a uh, just a placeholder item with nothing interesting. But we can also go ahead and fix that by hitting the actual YouTube API. So yeah, I guess uh, that about well no that doesn't about wrap up this video. Let's do something fun real fast. Let's move this off over to the side. Move code over here. Maybe nuke our window there, and let's add some. Uh, Let's add a little animation to this. This might be fun. Let's jump into our list component. For our add item, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the old height of the element. So old height equals comp element height. Then I'm going to animate it. I'm going to say comp dot element. And um, I'm going to uh, add a class called selected. We don't have the selected class yet, but we'll add it here in a bit. Then I'm going to force the CSS height to be zero and opacity to be zero. And then I'm going to animate it to where the height is the old height and the opacity is one. Pass in 250 milliseconds and then pass in an on complete function for the animation. And when we complete, we're going to say comp.element um, remove class selected dot CSS, and then we're going to set the height to empty string and the opacity to empty string, which will remove those those elements, or rather remove those um, um, style attribute elements from, from being represented. And we can open up the CSS as well. 
So look at that code real fast. I'm going to be closing this out. I do. I am aware there's a bug on the left-hand side that we'll probably fix in the next video. So uh, let's go ahead and open up our playlist.scss and let's add our selected class in here. So what I'm going to do here is down here at the bottom in our section playlist li, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the li element. And then I'm going to say dot selected is going to set um, position to relative z index to one background to lighten border panel what 10% color is going to be color highlight. And then I'm also going to do go into inner and then I'm going to do thumb wrapper image and I'm going to set opacity to one. So let's save that out. And then um, it looks like we're, we're having a bit of an issue because I probably misspelled something. Um, undefined variable color highlight. Didn't I make that color? Pretty sure I did. It should be in my styles variable CSS. Color highlight, probably just misspelled it. I did misspell it. All right, now we're good. Let's go ahead and refresh and add a video in. So I have to log in to get my toolbar. And then let's add in a video and see if that animation plays. And it almost does. Um, no, actually. No, that's fine. I like that animation. Obviously, you guys can go in and play around with it however you want and make it a little bit more interesting, but we're just going to leave it at that. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to fix a bug that only becomes apparent when we do a live reloading. So, like, for example, if I just added a, a bogus console log here and then hit save, notice how the, um, the playlist only gets this one element, and we'll discuss how we can fix that. So we'll see you guys in the next